Yo, what is up, boys? How's it going? Welcome back to another stream slash video. U.S. President's debate: Shanks versus Mihawk. O P P P four. What, what, is, what does that stand for? One Piece President's podcast. And that is why, even if I was petrified by S Snake, it would not make me a lolicon. Serious question, Joe. Are you petrified right now? What do you mean, Donald? You know, petrified in the pants, thinking about S Snake. Now, Donald Oda explained that the marrow, marrow, no me functions according to any feeling. For example, if Blackbeard ate the fruit, then people would be petrified by their disgust. A terrible example, Obama. Blackbeard puts the lust in disgust. The Obama still kills me every time. The guy walks around topless with man milkers bigger than Boa Hancock. <laughs> Effective immediately, I'm passing an executive order to ban the word milkers on this podcast. Oh, I can't say milkers, but Horny Joe can talk about his wet dreams? I'm not a lolicon, Donald. No more of that either. <laughs> Joe, save it for therapy. We're going to take some viewer questions now. This comes from Nude Gingrich. Who would win in a fight, Shanks or Mihawk? Mihawk! Of course. Are you effing serious, Joe? Did you not learn your lesson from last time? Last time we did this was before Divine Departure, dumbass. Mihawk has never shown anything close to that level of power in the series. Dude, I have not heard people debate this in a long time. It was always so much fun back in the day. Because technically, Mihawk is the world's greatest swordsman. However, have we really seen him do much? No, we haven't. Have we seen Shanks do much? No, we haven't. But Shanks is a Yonko. That's because... Didn't they duel a bunch of times and it was like kind of even? Maybe Mihawk has a couple more wins. I don't remember exactly. Let's see what these guys, what these presidents have to say. No one has been worthy of seeing his power, Joe. The only person who could take on Mihawk was Shanks. But then he fisted a fish in the mouth and now he's not strong enough to fight Mihawk anymore. Oh yeah? Let's go through some dubs, Donald. How many people is Mihawk? Yeah, but we don't we don't know we don't know Shanks' full abilities. Was he just fighting him as a straight swordsman, the swordsman, or was he using his other powers? Hawk beaten. All of them. What do you mean, all of them? He hasn't beaten every character, Donald. Yes, he has. What about Vista? He didn't beat Vista. Vista didn't beat Mihawk either. Therefore, Mihawk won. Malarkey. What about Kaido? Mihawk wasn't even in his top five. Oh, please. Kaido isn't a reliable source, Joe. Four out of the five characters in his list aren't even alive. Are you telling me that Mihawk couldn't defeat four inanimate corpses? <laughs> no, but Garp wasn't there either, Joe. Are you telling me that Shanks is stronger than Prime Garp? No one is stronger than Prime Garp, Joe. <laughs> well, what about Mihawk? What about him? You said that Mihawk has beaten everyone. Everyone includes Prime Garp. That is a nasty false statement, Joe. And you should be ashamed of yourself for that. In addition to being a lollycon. Now, Donald, in Joe's defense, you did say that Mihawk has beaten everyone. Oh, oh my God, yes, he's beaten everyone, but not everyone in every time. What about Fishwoman Nami? Of course Mihawk beat Fishwoman Nami, Joe. He defeated her and flushed her down his insanely large toilet that he keeps in his monkey castle. What is going on? I don't remember on? that, Donald. Joe, that's because your memory is the real-life equivalent of the void. <laughs> don't test me, Donald. I can remember enough to order the Secret Service to God Valley your world noble-looking ass. Why are you always threatening my ass, Joe? My eyes are up here. It's the same picture. The hell? It's the meme, Donald. Corporate needs me to find the difference between your ass and your face. And I'm saying it's the same picture. Oh, nice one, Joe. That meme would have done well in 2018. Unlike your midterm election. Knock him up, please. There's no reason why three presidents sharing a podcast needs to get political. Brock, this is happening because he lied about Fishwoman Nami. I didn't lie, horny Joe. It happened in the anime, Joe. Learn media literacy. Anime doesn't count, Donald. Especially not your filler garbage. This wasn't filler, Joe. Oda Sensei himself is heavily involved in the anime and wrote the Fishwoman Nami toilet arc himself. <laughs> he said it was supposed to be in the manga, but his editors cut it because the toilet wasn't a, quote, compelling protagonist. Donald, this arc neither exists in the anime nor in the manga. Can we please keep this debate about fictional comic book pirates to the facts? Here's a fact. Mihawk is the world's greatest swordsman. Rock, he's doing the sword thing again. And if Shanks was stronger than Mihawk, then he would be the world's greatest swordsman. Donald, you raise a fair point, but as we've covered, the concept of a swordsman is very vague in the One Piece world. What's vague about it? Shanks has a sword and he's a man. So what else is it? <laughs> a man sword? No, Shanks is a man who happens to use a sword to fight. Like a swordsman? No. Like <laughs> a man sword? No! <laughs> what is he, Joe? He's an emperor of the sea, Donald. Shanks doesn't have to be defined by one singular fight style fact it's not vague um see that that's the thing though because like mihawk is a swordsman he takes pride in it uh, zoro is a swordsman he takes pride in it he's trying to improve his skills as a swordsman i feel like technically luffy could wield a sword and still fuck up 90 percent of the population in one piece you know that doesn't mean he's a swordsman it's like just people that strive to be strong and also have a weapon, and there's people that strive to be so strong with the weapon. The art of the weapon, you know?
Name one Shanks fight where he hasn't used a sword, Joe. I, uh... The fight doesn't exist. Luffy uses a sword to punch with, yes. But imagine he used it to stab. I'm still thinking he could beat, like, 90%, 99% of the population of the One Piece world. Like, considering half the people don't even fucking fight, you know? Um, if he is truly a Yonko level uh, opponent at this point, Luffy, that means most people he could probably stab to death with a sword. Does, does that mean he's the strongest swordsman? No, he barely knows how to use a sword. He's just fucking strong. And I feel like Shanks being a Yonko, a Yonko who has incredible conqueror's hockey and probably a very good understanding and use of other forms of hockey could be very, very strong. But now that he only has one arm, maybe he isn't the best swordsman per se against someone like Mihawk when it comes to just like sword on sword combat. But you never know because Shanks like in a normal fight could fucking punch you too. Like he has a sword, he could shoulder you, you know, he'll kick you and stuff like that. Does Mihawk have conquerors? We don't know. These are two characters we know very, very, very little about. This, Joe. Every time we've seen Shanks fight, he was using a sword. In fact, the one time he didn't have his sword was when he got his arm bitten off. That's not fair, Donald. We've barely seen Shanks fight. So, in like, if Luffy were to become the Pirate King, and were, he is, obviously. Uh, if Luffy is going to become the Pirate King, at some point he was going to be probably be the strongest person in the One Piece world. Let's say, let's say Luffy achieves the number one spot as the number one strongest person in One Piece, and then decides to pick up a sword and start stabbing people with it. Does that mean him? That make him the strongest swordsman? I don't know. Because even if Luffy's here and Mihawk's here in regards to strength at the end of the story, like Luffy's stronger than Mihawk at the end of the story, I still think Mihawk would be a better swordsman than Luffy based off of sword capabilities. Just because Luffy could go gear five and stab homie with a stick doesn't mean he's the strongest swordsman. Oda has strongly hinted that there's more to him than just the sword. I believe Joe is referring to the SBS where Oda reveals the name of Shank's sword, Griffin. However, Oda then adds the question of, but how does he actually fight? With a sword. That's not the implication, <laughs> Donald. Although it's difficult to tell. I believe that Oda is hinting that Shanks has another method of combat. That or he's spelling it out for idiots like Joe. Morons who see a guy with a sword and don't automatically assume he's a swordsman. Being a swordsman isn't a binary, Donald. Yes, it is, Joe. There are only two genders in one piece. Swordsman or not a swordsman. <laughs> is that true, Donald? Are you telling me that Basil Hawkins is a swordsman? Does he use a sword? Yes, he does. Then of course he's a swordsman, Joe. But he also uses cards and fortune telling and straw. In fact, one of his attacks is literally turning his sword into straw. Well, in that case, you're right. Finally. He's not a swordsman. He's a strawsman. The world's lamest <laughs> strawsman. Well, what about Aokiji? He had a nice sword. You mean Kuzan? No, I mean Admiral Aokiji. No, you mean former Admiral and current Blackbeard titty enjoyer Kuzan. It doesn't matter, Donald. They're the same character. There you go again, Joe. Ignoring the facts, just like all Shanks supporters. What about Trafalgar Law? I think there's a strong argument to be made that despite using a sword, he doesn't fight like a swordsman. He's more of a yeah. fruit user with a sword as the catalyst for his powers. Trafal exactly. I would say that Law's a swordsman, but even if Law became more powerful than Mihawk, he wouldn't be the world's strongest swordsman because strictly sword capability versus sword capability, Mihawk would wipe him, you know? Trafalgar Boar is an abomination to the... That's like being like, I'm, I'm a swordsman. I got a sword, but I also have the nuke nuke fruit. You're dead. You're not a stronger swordsman. You just have a strong fruit and you're good at fighting. Crap. It's like how Horny Joe has the POTUS Twitter account, but everyone knows I'm still the real president. Without Trafalgar Law, Eustace Kid would never have beaten Big Mom. You will show him the respect he deserves. Oh, please! Without Trafalgar Whore getting in the way, Kid would have beaten Big Mom sooner. And Kaido, and Luffy, and Green Bull, all at the same time. Not Shanks, though. Don't you dare, Joe. Shanks one-shot useless Captain Mid, and now he's just scrap metal polluting the ocean. What was Kid supposed to do <laughs> against that overpowered observation hockey, Joe? Exactly, Donald. That's how Shanks fights. He's a master of hockey, not a swordsman. If Shanks was never a swordsman, then why did Mihawk bother fighting him at all? Because they were friendly matches, Donald. Shanks and Mihawk were dueling with swords, not fighting all out. What's the difference? I think what Joe is implying is that he believes Shanks is more physically powerful, but that Mihawk is more skilled with the blade, like a weightlifter challenging a martial artist. The weightlifter may be stronger, but not necessarily more proficient in the martial art. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I think Shanks used to refer to himself as a swordsman as well. And that's why they would have these duels and they would go back and forth. And Shanks would probably mainly use his sword capabilities to fight him. And then after losing his arm, after losing his arm was like, hey, it's kind of not worth doing these duels anymore because you would win when it just comes to just sword technique and sword fighting. However, Shanks would probably win because Shanks could also use insane levels of hockey and other abilities. I would imagine. 
But I'm sure when they dueled, they focused more on the sword, the swordsman duel, you know? So I choose to ignore it. Mihawk is the world's greatest swordsman. The greatest. G-R-A. Test! Swordsman. He's <laughs> not the world's skillest swordsman. When his bounty was introduced, the world government didn't say, Dracul Mihawk. The world's most skilled, but not physically more powerful than Shanks, swordsman. <laughs> the greatest. Full stop. Greatest doesn't mean much when there's only two people in the world after the title dumbass. What you're effectively saying is that out of Mihawk and Zoro, Mihawk is the better swordsman. Personally, I've always found it odd that more people want to become the pirate king than the world's greatest swordsman. That's because becoming the pirate king is actually achievable. All you have to do is land on an island, wave your dick around, and then bam, you're president of the United States. Pirate <laughs> king. Yeah, that one. Whereas people see Mihawk and they don't even try because he's too strong. <laughs> it's because Mihawk's a fraud. He got the title of world's greatest. And ever since then, he's refused to fight anyone except for pre-time Skip Zoro. If he agreed to fight Shanks, then Fraudhawk would lose the title with ease. It's not fair to fight someone with one arm, Joe. That's why Shanks versus Eustace Kid was a completely even matchup in terms of raw power. One arm versus one arm. If it wasn't for that bullshit hockey, Kid would be an emperor of the sea by now. Who cares if Shanks has one arm? If he's stronger than Mihawk, then Mihawk should accept the challenge. Joe, if a quadruple amputee challenged you to boxing, would you accept? I can't believe you're so eager to beat up the disabled. No, Donald, I would not accept. Jill doesn't like it when I engage in physical activity. She says it generates too much testosterone. Uh-huh. But also, I'm not a boxer. But Mihawk is a swordsman <laughs> and should accept any challenge that comes his way, no matter how many arms are involved. He's a fraud, I tell you. In the recent chapters, he was even scared of fighting Blackbeard and Luffy. Why'd you have to mention Blackbeard, Joe? Now all I can think about are those mega milkers again. This is your second warning, Donald. Oh my God. All I'm saying is that out of respect for Horny Joe's preferences, I never mentioned sugar. I am not a lolicon, Donald. Me thinks the president doth protest too much. Donald, you can't just accuse someone of being a pedophile every time you can't answer their question. Oh, so Obama's a lolicon as well, I see. Knock him up, please. <laughs> we still have yet to pass resolution regarding Zorro versus Mihawk. Now, personally, I do believe that Shanks is stronger. Damn straight, Barack. However, I must cede to Donald <laughs> that with all of the available evidence, I would indeed classify Shanks as a swordsman. And therefore, with Mihawk being the official greatest swordsman... Don't fall for his I'm shit, Barack. Leaving. He's using semantics to confuse Alex you. Nice try, Clark. Joe, but I'm not Jewish. With Mihawk being the official world's oh greatest God. swordsman, the currently available... Oh, Mio, thanks for the sub, buddy. Love you evidence would present him as the victor. Yes! However... Don't you dare, Obama. In this case, I don't think we should place too much value on the available evidence. You know, I said that exact same thing to the Manhattan District Attorney's office, and they're still prosecuting me. The fact is that this is a story and power scaling is ultimately pointless. Whoever Oda wants to win in any given situation is always... Ah, oh, that's a stupid so if you argument. Be an annoying, that's no fun. Toxic piece of fecal matter yeah. on the internet... Go on. ...then technically you can claim that Mihawk would win. But the correct answer is, I don't care. Look, Nakama, I love One Piece more than my wife and two daughters. What about the dog? Not the dog, never more than the dog. But even with that in mind, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's a Japanese comic book. And I think we all need to take fights between fictional pirates a bit less seriously. More so seriously. I guess Let's have fun. Come on. In this a bit too far. I'm sorry for my behavior, guys. I just love this series too much. Me too. So from here on, let's just focus on celebrating One Piece together. Well said. Now, our next question comes from Alexandria Orgasmio Cortez. What is Yamato's gender? Male. Female. Are you effing serious? <laughs> yes, I'm serious, Donald. You're giving me this woke Yamato shit. Yamato identifies as a she man. She identifies as Odin with colossal milkers. Donald, that is your <laughs> final warning. I can't believe you're being such an intolerant Nazi bigot. And I can't believe you're being such a woke soy SJW cuck. Cuck doesn't mean what you think it means, Donald. It means fuck you, Joe. Oh, that's it, Donald. <laughs> you're getting canceled. People who have different opinions on fictional characters to me are literally worse than Hitler. It's not opinion. It's pure fact. <laughs> Yamato's gender is female in the data book, Joe. Oda doesn't write the data books, you bigot. And if he did, then we'd just cancel him, too. Do us all a favor and cancel yourself from life, Joe. Nakama, please, remember that we all love One Piece and there's room for nuance on both sides with this conversation. Cuck! Bigot! Cuck! Bigot! I actually think that the concept... Oh my god, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>